here with Dr. Romano to do a video on molecular geometries. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products and the author of the Dad Destroyer book. One of the biggest difficulties students have in freshman chemistry is writing molecular geometries and doing the hybridization of the atoms. So what I want to do in this video is to show you how to go about doing it and in the Dat Destroyer book, there's plenty of examples for you to practice, and when exam time comes, it'll be a piece of cake. So come along and let's have a look. We're gonna do four examples. Now, I give you NH2Cl. Now, the first thing we wanna do is to count the total number of valence electrons before we do anything. Now, nitrogen is in group 15, if you go to your periodic table. But what we're going to do is we're going to put our finger over the one and we're just going to pretend that those groups are group five. So nitrogen would be from group five. Oxygen, even though it's in group 16, we're going to count it as group six. The halogens, instead of saying group 17, I'll just say group seven. All right. Nitrogen is in group five. Hydrogen is in group one. And there's two of them is two. Chlorine is in group seven. So we have a 5, a 2, and a 7 gives me 14 electrons. So what I would do is I would go to all the choices, and if they don't have 14 electrons, they're eliminated. Now what I would do in this one, I'm going to connect the atoms in such a way that I can put in these 14 electrons. Now, what I'm going to do is to go to the outer species, and I'm going to give 8 electrons to the outer one. Now, we're going to make a deal. We never put dots, which are electrons, on hydrogens. It's only got one bond. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and we need two more, and we put them on the nitrogen if there's any left over. So anytime you have three bonded areas and one lone pair, the shape is called trigonal pyramidal. Now, to get the hybridization, a little trick I show my students is you got one area, two, three, and four. There's four areas of space, so it's SP3. Think of it as three Ps and one S gives you four orbitals. Now, if you erroneously thought it's SP2, you would have saw you were wrong because you have two Ps and an S that gives you three orbitals or confines of space, and here we need four. That's a nice little trick that'll work like a charm. SIF6 minus 2. Let's do our count. Silicon is in group 4. Chlorine's in group, or fluorine, I should say, is in group 7. And there's six of them is 42. And the minus 2 gives me two more. This gives me a total of 48 valence electrons. That in itself could be a dat question. So make sure you know how to get the valence electrons. You put the silicon in the middle. You give the outer guys, when you connect them, eight, two, four, six, eight. They all have eight. That would be 48 if you add them up. And this shape, when you have the central atom going to six groups, would be called octahedral. And if we do the shape, we have one area, two, three, four, five, the six areas. Now, if there's six areas and you first wrote SP3, you would have saw that there is four and you needed two more. So those two have got to come from the D orbitals. So this would be a D2 SP3 hybrid. All right. Number six. Let us see. Cl F4 minus. Cl is in group seven. Fluorine is in group seven. And there's four of them is 28. The minus sign gives you one. When we add them up, we got 36 valence electrons. The chlorine goes in the middle. You put the fluorines to the outside. Everybody gets 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. But we need 36. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put my two lone pairs on that central atom. Notice that in these, this example, silicon broke the octet rule, and so did chlorine. And that's not so unusual to see atoms break the octet rule. And if you have four areas of space and two lone pairs, 
the shape is called square planar. And for the hybridization, let's do our little trick. And we have this and this. So there's a total of six areas of space. So the chlorine would be D2SP3 hybrid. And last but not least, NOCl, nitrogen is in group five, oxygen is six, chlorine is seven, gives me 18. You go to the choices and you look to see which guys have 18. Notice when I connected it, I used a double bond. Many, many times, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, carbon, phosphorus, these guys would be able to have a double bond. So you should be on the lookout. But the key thing is to look for 18, and we get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And as you can see, the central atom, notice there's two bonded areas and one that's low in pair. This is called bent. And this particular bent, since there's three areas of space, would be sp2 hybrid on the oxygen. I really hope this helps. We have a lot of examples that I want you to go through in the destroyer. You have any questions, you come ask me in study group. All right, guys, good luck to you. Bye-bye.